Walmart is is cancer. Uh, hence, hence this photo of a literal cancer, uh, which I find is the perfect slide. You know, and Walmart. Forest Lake uh, Walmart is one of the worst Walmarts uh, besides Midway. Our grassroots survey, from what I heard, was one of the worst in like the entirety of the state, and that's pretty sad, right? Like we already knew employee morale and satisfaction was like low, but then we we broke the top three. <laughs> The places run just into the ground. Nobody ever does their job because morale's so goddamn low and they hate the company so much they will deliberately stall. The management writes them up and is like, you better not do that again. And then it's it's like, well, fuck you. I, I dragged so much on purpose to my bosses who were assholes. I dragged my feet so hard on purpose. It was fun. I loved it. It was the best part about that job was getting the management angry because they were all terrible. Management likes to hover over you whenever you work, so they'll just come by and be like, so how's work going? Looks like you still have three carts to put on the shelf. Finish that by tonight and I'm like, mm. management was a, was a joke. It was mostly like young adults, 20s, 26. And already, you know, a department store needs someone in their mid 30s. Someone who's responsible, someone who's not inept, that's really hard in a small town. Just kidding, Forest Lake. I love you. That's why I made that documentary. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no. Uh, Walmart took part of my soul away. Uh, a part that I'll, I will never ever get back. And I'm, I'm glad I left. And I'm glad I, I never have to go back. Because at this point, I would rather kill myself. But holy shit, they, they do not like their employees. I, I've never been treated worse at a company. Like, I've worked for a, a little scare house, and they paid me $5 an hour because it was commission. That was, that was better. I would take that any day over Walmart. I worked at Jimmy John's. I think that's the m most money I've ever made in my life was being a delivery driver for Jimmy John's. Uh, I worked at Perkins. That's, that's a story for another day. I think my third job was Walmart. Yeah, that shit was bad. Every bad story you've ever heard about Walmart is 100% true. I guarantee it. I don't need to know the context. I, I just know it's true. Uh, most of the customers are terrible. Uh, terrible. The amount of times I've wanted to tell a customer to go fuck themselves, daily. Like five days a week, I would r just internally find at least one customer a day that I hated and hated real bad. If you've ever asked for an employee to look in the back, there's a 50-50 shot. They just went in the back, waited a minute, and then came back out. Because uh, at Forest Lake Walmart, nobody ever did inventory correctly. Management was terrible at that. I'm surprised that place isn't on fire every day. Um, I'm just saying, it's, it's surprising. Most of them are terrible. The general manager was a joke too, but Wow. Holy fuck. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Y you've impressed me with how terrible you are. Fuck you. The one below the general manager was a joke. I think they still work there. <laughs> it's weird going back to Walmart after working there because I see the employees and they're there and they want to kill themselves and I'm just like, yeah, I got out. I mean, I may be starving from time to time, but I got out. If you ever think about working for Walmart, don't. They have a fun way of punishing employees. The whole sick day point system is a joke. You get nine points before you're fired, and then certain like actions and write-ups will give you a certain amount of points. You need a doctor's note to fucking like not get anything taken off, and even then, it's only sometimes. So if you have a really, really bad cold, and chest congestion, and it's hard to breathe, and you really can't work hard labor, like CAP2, and you really don't want to get anyone sick if like you're a cashier or you're in sporting goods, um, fuck you. Being absent by anything more than 10 minutes is a write-up for half a point, or a point, I can't remember. I think it's half a point. That you get nine points and then you're fired, and each sick day, legitimate or not, is a point off. Uh, Walmart gives you a, a bonus for every three months, every quarter of a year, they give you a bonus. 
it's called my share and it's usually garbage like it can be anything from 20 bucks to a hundred 200 bucks but it's basically just a little middle finger saying hey yeah we can afford to give you a raise but we're not gonna but here's the thing the termination point system now ties in to my share so if you get one point one point they take away a sizable chunk of your share your my share and each point it just gets worse and worse and worse and here's the thing about points they don't fall off for six months so if you're late to work one day and you get half a point your little bonus is going to take a huge fucking hit fuck you walmart calling in sick if you are legitimately sick like your dialysis machine broke and you gotta repair it or your car broke down maybe and you just can't get to work you get a write up and you get a point towards your nine point until you're terminated thing why but yeah if you wanted any other reason to hate walmart there you go they they punish sick days they're illegally punishing employees for calling in sick with the threat of termination specifically being that they're sick like most companies can get away with it you can be perfectly rightfully in a job and then you, the manager just doesn't like you and they fire you especially in Minnesota we're a let go state so you can just lose your fucking job overnight if you're not in a union or you know your manager hates you I don't think anyone treats their employees worse than Walmart Walmart offers benefits but they're all basically the worst thing ever on par only with government benefits it was the worst job I've ever had uh, it took away part of my soul that I'm never getting back only work there if you are desperate and I mean it and I mean just completely desperate like if you've been homeless for five years and you're just finally sick of it work at Walmart for another five years, maybe you'll have enough money. You think I can support myself on 12 bucks an hour? You're fucking wrong. My paychecks were usually like 500 bucks, 600 bucks for decent hours. They don't give you full time. Quite often, they'll give you 38 hours a week. Just so they don't have to give you full time. Over time, sure, they give you that, but nobody ever authorizes it. Quite often, they tell you you're not going to leave until it's done. That's illegal. I feel like that's illegal, right? Right, Kitty? The location I worked at was really toxic. Managers like to fight their employees a lot and like spit on them. Favoritism was a big issue too. Uh, favorites were played all the fucking time. Managers would pick favorites and let things slide and then they'd find people they hate and torture them. And I saw this happen to a few other people and it was really bad. One of my coworkers worked with family and would, you know, they'd often work, they worked on the same area. Uh, but management liked to punish them and say they, they were talking too much and then falsely coach them or write them up because they were saying it was slowing work. If anything, it's boosting morale, which is going to boost work ethic. So maybe let them. Our management team had a problem with skin color. <laughs> well, I mean, you come from a rural town, you kind of expect a few racists here and there. Maybe not in current year, but um, come on guys, it's current year. <laughs> we live in a society. <laughs> it, it was pretty bad. Like, I don't want to out anyone. It's just, there was an issue and then corporate was called and nothing happened. I was harassed daily for, you know, I don't know why. I'm kind of an asshole sometimes, and I drag my feet a lot. Maybe that was it. Because uh, one coworker really hated me, and then they became the manager. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> I know where this is going. They, they were on my ass all day, every day. And that was something you just kind of had to deal with. Because, I mean, no matter how many times I went to management, no matter how many times I went to corporate, no matter how many times I went over management's head to try and uh, get some intervention from anyone else, uh, nothing ever happened. So, eventually, I quit. Um, if I still have it, here's a picture of my resignation. 
Yeah. The place was toxic, like just shitty. Just everything about it was terrible. Management didn't care about employees. Sick days were punished. Don't ever work there. Don't support these bad business practices. Hey, Katie. It, it was bad. It was as bad as you've ever heard anyone ever talk about Walmart. Hold a little pride, at least a little. And, and you know, hold out just a bit for something better, anything better. Because the moment you start working there full time, you're gonna be so tired from your, your shitty days at work, you're not gonna be able to then go out and look for a job. You get trapped. You get trapped really easily. I can understand why you would get stuck. And I understand why you would have to work there. Like maybe you are desperate. Desperate. Cannot live without paying for kids, for your house, for your parents who are, you know, uh, in treatment or the hospital, uh, your car. That's really fucked up. I get it. But don't. Fuck it. They punish employees for fraternizing. Fraternizing. Fra Fraternize. Fraternizing? Don't ever work there. I'm, I'm sorry if you do right now. Because I, I know your pain. And I, I feel you. Uh, I know what you're going through. At least, sort of. I, I know enough of what you're going through. And I'm so sorry that this is what you have to do to survive and hang in there i don't know man it, it was it was fucked we had one manager who was really good but he had the common sense enough to fucking leave and then after they left everything went to shit i don't think anything could have gone worse than how it did a lot of favorites were played daily people got to get away with doing no work at all while the rest of us had to pick up their slack. We were constantly understaffed. I was on cap two, and what that meant was uh, I pulled shit from the truck for the first half of the day, and then the second half of the day, I put that shit on the shelves. Thursdays or Tuesdays, I can't remember, we would have double truck days, and they would always tell us to get done before lunch, and we never could because there was only four to six people on a truck at a time. We didn't have anything automated at the time I worked there. So basically, what that means is we didn't have the rollers that automatically whoosh, people had to pull that shit. And let me tell you, doing that for four hours sucks. Like, I get it. It's manual labor. Buck up or shut up, you know. Do your fucking job. Keep your nose down. I get it. I'm not one to say that it was too hot. I'm here to tell you that uh, we're not going to get it done fast enough. And having the metaphorical whip on our back... That's not going to make us go faster. If anything, it made me go slower intentionally. Just because fuck you. You pay me, what, 12 bucks an hour? Go fuck yourself. They'll make anyone a manager. You just have to have a good record and have at least two people, like, not hate you. That can say, yeah, they, they'd do good. They'd be okay. Never date your coworkers. That should be obvious. And at the time, you're going to think, oh, no, we'll be the exception. No, you won't. <laughs> that never fucking works out. So that was me talking about Walmart. I hope you got some entertainment out of this. It's not very entertaining to me. What are your experiences at Walmart? Like, when you go there to shop, do you always see the crackheads at 2 in the morning? Or is it only on weekends? Do crackheads have weekends? Uh, if you want to see something else, you know, send me a DM. Slide into my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were your experiences working for Walmart like? What was, what was it like shopping there? What was it like knowing that one day you'll die? Tell me in the comments below and uh, hit that subscribe button, smash that like, help me with that algorithm, boy. This is my YouTube channel. I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with it. <laughs> I wanna, I just, I have no idea what, what the hell I'm doing. Please consider subscribing to my Patreon. I need money. <laughs> But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, tune in next time when I try to figure out what the fuck I'm doing with my life. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Fuck this shit. Just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. Fuck you.